Welcome to Top Solid 7. In this next video, we're going to show you how to build all of the draft files required to manufacture this project. Bill of materials are often used to manage all of the components within the assembly that you're trying to manufacture, right? Following that logic, we thought it was a good idea to manage all the draft files the same way. Here's what I mean. With our bill of material open, I'm going to go up here to multi-draft. Oops, excuse me, this one. When I click on multi-draft, a window pops up and it shows all of the parts and assemblies that are currently being referenced in this bill of material. Right now, my vise is set to use my C-size assembly, which if I minimize this, this is coming out of my project templates. Okay? So I want to use instead A1 ISO assembly. From there, I want to go here to base, and set that to A1 ISO part. And actually, to show you some shortcuts, you can apply the template for this type. So now you just right-click on it, and all the other part files have this same draft template. Now, from here, you can specify a folder within your project to put all the draft files in. If you leave it as source folder, then all the draft files will be located in whatever subdirectories their corresponding part or assembly files are. I'm also going to tell it to go ahead and open after creation because we want to look at these right away. Let's validate. And like that, Top Solid 7 has now created all the draft documents for you. And if you look up here, you can see them all. Now, if you happen to be using Windows 7, you can switch between any of these open documents using Windows 7 Aero interface. How does that work? If we scroll down here with our mouse and hover on the Top Solid 7 icon, you can see all available documents show up here. And all you need to do is go hover on each one and it will switch dynamically between each of these documents. You can even close documents this way. That's pretty cool. And what we want to do is we actually want to get to our assembly document. So go ahead and select that. If you're not using Windows 7, go ahead and just switch to the Vice Assembly Draft Document by selecting the tab at the top of the screen. Okay, next we're going to add our bill of material to our draft file. If you notice, the bill of material was a separate file that we made. This is so a separate engineer can actually work on that while another engineer is building the draft document. And all is, of course, managed by the data management. So we're going to go grab our bill of material and we're just going to drag and drop it into our assembly file. And it's going to ask for two points. I'm going to add a point here, and I'll select another point over here. From there, I'm going to go to my advanced options, and I'm going to set, make sure my heading style is set to heading, and my table style is set to table. These styles were created ahead of time in my draft template, I could have set them to be the default ones, but I wanted to use this as an opportunity to introduce styles to those of you doing this tutorial. The one other thing that we want to check is text in real size. From there, we can go ahead and validate. And now if we zoom up, you can see your bill of material has been added to the bottom of this draft document. Now the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and ask Top Solid to automatically add the bill of material balloons. To do this, we're going to go to the detailing tab and choose automatic BOM index. It wants the view to apply to. Here I'll choose my isometric view and we'll validate. And like that, all of the indexes have been added. If you would like to have circles around your index numbers, that's just a choice in the styles. 